in this video we will connect to a simple mongodb database with python so this is the video version of one of my articles we will perform simple operations on the data like addition updation deletion and like adding multiple records at once so first i'll go ahead and sign up with mongodb atlas As I have already created my database, let's just go ahead and create a new project. So go ahead and name your project. It will be demo. I can add members and set permissions here. Create the project. Now you can go ahead and build a database. Click here. Select a deployment option. This one. Now select the cloud provider and select AWS and the closest region for me, which is Mumbai. And the cluster, cluster seven, seven. Great. We'll wait for the cluster to be created. So it's been created. Go to your database access. Create a new database user. create a new one which I'll delete right after this new user 7 plus word 7 keep it copied we have it looks good at the user never now get back to databases go to your cluster go to collections there's an option of loading a sample database or adding your data you click on add my own data Add an interface that is name user data. User network access to connect the cluster and add your IP address. Add your current IP address automatically and confirm it.
connect the cluster. As we'll be using a simple application, so click on connect your application. Driver will be Python. And the version will be 3.6 or later. It's like a... right. So this link is enough. Copy it and save it somewhere. And close. Now I'll go ahead and open my file from VS Code. So here I have my sample file where we import Flask. We'll be using that later. For now, in this file, we aren't using it. So we can just remove it. So from PyMongo, we import Mongo client. And here is where we have to paste that URL. So paste it. And I'll have to enter my password here. And I'll have to also give the master name. User database. User connection. Let's try inserting this for now. Control S and then we'll try to run it from WSL. Now it ran successfully, so it was able to connect to the cluster. Now let's go ahead and check if that has been updated in the cloud database. So database. Yeah, so there has been added the ID and the username. So this was just adding one post. There is it. So here just we added one. We'll be trying to add more at once. So let's take this one and this one and also insert it. We comment out this one for now because we aren't using it. So it should add these two entries to the database. Control S. And let's again execute it. It ran successfully, so it should have updated. Let's refresh. So it has three entries, just as we considered, and in well, it's working fine. So now that the entries have been inserted properly, let's go ahead and delete one or two. So I'll comment these out. So here to insert one, you can just simply add it. And for inserting many, you can use collection.insert many. Now for deleting one, you will be using collection.delete one. ID zero, username show me, which you already have. So let's control S. And we'll execute it.
let's refresh so oh, there's one button for this guy so it should have deleted it So did we make a mistake here? ID zero username show me. So that should have been deleted. Oh no. Now let's try. Now it got deleted. It was missing on the quotes that we forgot to add. So we looked at how to delete one entry. Now let's look at how to update. So for ID zero, we will update the username. Let's take ID. Which one do we have right now? 100. And update the username to Tani. Yeah. We execute it. So there's an error. Absurd must be true or false, right? So let's make it. Okay, it executed this time. Let's see if this. Okay, so 100 was for Ravi, so this should become Tani right now. Let's see. It got updated successfully. So that's it. Thank you.